Well, let's cross live now to London. Our correspondent there is Benedict Pavio, and we can speak to her. Benedict, uh, has there been any reaction at this stage from the British authorities to this uh, unfolding situation we're watching in Kabul? Well, the Ministry of Defence uh, defense here in uh, the United Kingdom, here in the British capital, are uh, trying to establish how many people have been injured or indeed killed. Uh, they uh, and the British authorities, uh, also Western news agencies, have been really warning for several days now of the threat of an attack by so-called ISIS. Uh, it seems there have been either one or two explosions. Uh, it is unclear here in London at the moment uh, how many casualties uh, there are. Unconfirmed first reports that we're getting say at least 10 people may have been killed near a gate at the airport perimeter. Um, you'll recall that Parliament was indeed recalled uh, for a few hours last week. Uh, Afghanistan um, has had 20 years of uh, British soldiers uh, alongside the Americans, the French and Canadians and other allied troops. 457 British soldiers have died. Uh, many more have been injured. So um, it's interesting to note that uh, as far as that pullout and the speedy evacuation, far too hurried, uh, the lack of intelligence on this has been widely criticized uh, by MPs on all sides here. But of course, that is not what is uppermost in people's minds here. There are very many Afghan families here in the United Kingdom who will be very, very worried uh, that indeed there are maybe family members who were at that airport desperately trying to cling on to the fact that they might make it through to the tarmac and onto planes um, by uh, Americans, French, British and other troops. Uh, so we await, as in other capitals for the moment, to establish what that uh, casualty toll is. All right, Benedict Pavio for us.